So recently I've been watching this show called The Wall, and it took about five episodes in for me to realize, why the hell does this need to exist? In my opinion, game shows are humanity's way of escaping reality. Escaping the fact that we're all hopeless, middle-class losers who are never going to be rich and famous. You can hope and pray all you want to live life a millionaire and live luxuriously, but it's just never going to happen. Until now. Now you can just press your luck on some of the many game shows on national television to see if you can make a few thousand dollars with little to no effort. So out of personal disliking for them, I'm here to give several reasons why game shows are really, really, really mediocre slash not so good. Or just reasons why they suck. Now I'm not going to tell you that these shows are all fake, because they're not. But whenever the episode isn't exciting enough, they'll try really, really hard to make it somewhat more interesting and dramatic. Baby, it's okay. We still have more money. Posted notes first sold in 1980. I don't know what's about to know. There is no reason to make anything more dramatic on a show that's hosted by Steve Harvey. Let me refer to the show, The Wall, that I was talking about. At the end of the episode, they have the two contestants, who are usually a couple or good friends. They make them stand together for about two minutes and have an emotional episode to each other about how... No matter what happens, if we win or lose, I still love you so much! I love you so much. That was... And I'm so glad that I got to go through it with you. I ripped up the contract, and I hope, I hope I made you proud, and I hope I made the right decision. <clears throat> you can just take that two minutes to go to the bathroom or something, because you're not going to miss anything. It's just a waste of time. And that just about summarizes the problem with having extra drama in your game show. It's just a waste of time, and it pads out for commercials to air, so they can pay for all their prizes. We'll get to that later. They also like to give the players a really sad backstory or an emotional background just to make the audience try and sympathize with them a little, even though it's either exaggerated or completely made up. Well that's issue number one. We got plenty more to go. There are two standards on the difficulty spectrum of a game show. They're either so easy that they're insulting to the audience who wishes they could be the ones playing the game, or the standards are either impossible or unfair to the point where there's no point competing. One of the most popular game shows of all time is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And the questions on that show range from shit like this, to shit like this. Sometimes there's also too many contestants, which makes it even harder to win. And when you have so many people coming on to press their luck to see if they can actually win something, they just end up getting humiliated in front of hundreds of people because of how stupid they really are. Now some people like to say that the shows are rigged, or at least tampered with to where they're way too hard to win. And while there probably are shows that do that, there are many more clever ways of doing it that they can tamper with your odds. To qualify for these shows, you have to go through interviews, and you cannot be part of a big organization or have important affiliations. They do this to keep people who are really intelligent or actually have a chance at winning from coming onto the show, because what's the point in having a game show if people can win at it? So then you just have a bunch of retards coming onto the show and making themselves look like dumbasses. So in the end, the only real winners in the show are the people running it. It's hard to host a show. Unless we're talking about game shows in which a fucking monkey could do that. The hosts are usually just there to keep the viewers entertained, because no one gives a damn about the contestants. Family Feud probably wouldn't be half as popular if they didn't have Steve Harvey, who usually just spends more time padding out the episode with unfunny jokes instead of actually progressing the game forward. Then you have hosts with no personality, which totally ruins the pro of having an entertaining host who distracts the audience from realizing that they're wasting so much time. I think a game show should be watched for a viewer to test their own knowledge, to have fun seeing how much they actually know about things, and maybe to laugh at stupid people who don't. If you're coming to a game show to see the host and see what wacky funny things they're gonna do, 
just go and watch the TV shows they originated from. Especially Steve Harvey. That guy has like five shows. I don't know why people go and watch videos like How to Basic and Max Mofo and complain about them wasting too much food. When all these game shows are just hemorrhaging money as prizes. Every week, thousands of dollars in prizes are giving out to the contestants. You bought both showcases at a million bucks. You bought both showcases at a million bucks. A million bucks, buddy. However, what they don't tell you is, you're actually paying taxes on your winnings to the federal government, which is a waste of money on your part. People forget, these game shows are a business. Businesses live and breathe making money, and they do whatever it takes to get it. So if you think the show is being generous for giving out so much money and luxurious stuff to their oh-so-important contestants, just know that all they're giving away is blood money. Money that comes at a dark cost, and usually as a result of greed and the sweaty hands of Steve Harvey.